Hello everyone, today I will be talking to you about a critical web application security topic and that is XML external entity, XXE injection. So XML, also known as extensible markup language, is a versatile language that is used to structure and store data in a hierarchical format. It plays a crucial role in various applications, including web services, configuration files, data exchange, and much more. Next, let's talk about what XML entities are. XML entities are a way of representing an item of data within an XML document instead of using the data itself. So various entities are built into the specification of the XML language. For example, the entities NLT and NGT represent the characters less than and greater than. So these are the meta characters that are used to denote XML tags, and so they generally need to be represented using the entities when they appear within the data. So before we delve into XXE, let's understand how XML is processed. So when an application encounters an XML document, it goes through a process known as parsing. During parsing, the XML is transformed from its textual representation into a structured format that the application can work with. And this is where the vulnerabilities like XXE can be exploited if not properly handled. Now let's introduce the external entities, or ES. So an external entity is a reference to the data stored outside the XML document itself, and these can include local or remote resources, essentially allowing an XML document to pull in the external data. This can be a powerful feature, but it also introduces risks when not used securely. Securely. Now let's understand XXE attacks. So in this attack, malicious actors inject specially crafted XML code into an application that processes the XML data. So these injected codes contain references to external entities that the attacker controls. And when the application parses the XML, it unwittingly processes these entities, leading to unintended consequences. So what is an XML external entity injection? XML external entity injection is also known as XXE. It is basically a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to interfere with an application's processing of XML data. It often allows an attacker to view files on the application server file system and to interact with any backend or external systems that the application itself can access. And in some situations, an attacker can escalate an XXE attack to compromise the underlying server or other bracket infrastructure by leveraging the XXE vulnerability to perform server-side request forgery, also known as SSRF attacks. Moving on, we will talk about the common XXE scenarios. So there are three common scenarios in which XXE attacks occur. The first one is reading local files. The attackers use the XXE to read sensitive files from the server's file system. Then we have retrieving remote files, so the attackers fetch the data from external servers using XXE references. And lastly we have denial of service. So XXE can be used to overload the system's resources, leading to a denial of service attack. In this slide, we will talk about the impact of successful XXE. So the impact of a successful XXE XXE attack can be very severe. First of all, we have unauthorized data exposure. The attackers can access sensitive information, such as passwords or user data. Then comes data manipulation. The attackers may alter data or carry out actions unintended by the application. Then comes the application or system crashes. So XXE attacks can overload the application or system, causing crashes and downtime. So as we have talked about successful XXE attacks, now we will see how we can prevent those attacks. To mitigate XXE attacks, it it is crucial to employ preventive measures. First of all, we have input validation. So validate and sanitize user-provided XML input to remove potential XXE references. Then we have disabling external entities. So always turn off the processing of external entities if they are not needed. Next is using alternative formats. Whenever possible, consider using safer data formats like JSON. Then we have keeping libraries updated. Regularly update XML parsers and libraries to patch known vulnerabilities. Furthermore, we will talk about the types of XXE attacks. So there are various types of XXE attacks. First, we have exploiting XXE to retrieve files. So this is where an external entity is defined, containing the contents of a file, and returned in the application's response. Then we have exploiting XXE to perform SSRF attacks. So this is where an external entity is defined based on a URL to a back-end system. Then we have exploiting blind XXE exfiltrate data out of band. So this is where sensitive data is transmitted from the application server to a system that the attacker controls. And lastly, we have exploiting blind XXE to retrieve data via error messages. This is where the attacker can trigger a parsing error message containing sensitive data. Let's understand how XXE vulnerabilities arise. Basically, XXE vulnerabilities arise due to the improper handling of external entities in XML processing, and these vulnerabilities occur when an application processes XML input from untrusted sources without implementing proper validation and protection mechanisms. So here is how they arise 
arise. XML Document Structure The XML allows the use of document type definitions to define the structure and data types within an XML document. DTDs can include external entities, which are placeholders for data that can be sourced from external files or URLs. Then comes the lack of input validation. So when an application accepts XML input from the users or the untrusted sources and it fails to properly validate or sanitize it, the attackers can manipulate the input to include malicious external entity references. Then we have exploiting entity references. So the attackers include specially crafted external entity references in the XML input. These references can be used to trigger actions such as reading local files, making network requests, or performing other unintended operations. Then lastly, we have blind trust in input. The vulnerable application blindly processes the XML input and resolves the included external entity references without proper safeguards. So now let's talk about the real-world XXE example. So in the real-world scenario, the attackers can exploit this vulnerability to read files, execute internal requests, or perform other malicious actions. Now let's take a look at a real-world XXE attack to understand its implications better. Suppose there is a web application that allows the users to upload XML files and then displays information from those files on a user dashboard. The application uses the uploaded XML to process and display user-specific data. So here is a simplified example of how the application might be vulnerable to XXE. First of all, the user uploads an XML file named payload.xml, containing the following content, which you can see in the picture. Then the application processes the uploaded XML file and displays the user's data on their dashboard. So when the application processes the payload.xml file, it blindly resolves the external entity reference and XXE, which points to the ETC password file on the server. The application then displays the content of the ETC password file on the user's dashboard. So in this scenario, the attacker has effectively retrieved sensitive system information, the contents of the ETC password file by just exploiting the XXE vulnerability. We will also talk about the document type definition. The XML document type definition or DTD contains declarations that can define the structure of an XML document, the types of data values it can contain, and the other items. The DTD is declared within the optional doc type element at the start of the XML document. The DTD can be fully self-contained within the document itself, known as an internal DTD or can be loaded from elsewhere known as an external DTD, or can be a hybrid of the two. Now let's talk about what XML custom entities are. So XML allows custom entities to be defined within the DTD. You can see the example in the slide. So this definition means that any usage of the entity reference and my entity within the XML document will be replaced with the defined value, which is the my entity value. Now let's see what XML external entities are. So XML external entities are a type of custom entity whose definition is located outside of the DTD where they are declared. The declaration of an external entity uses the system keyword and must specify a URL from which the value of the entity should be loaded. The URL can use the file protocol and external entities can be loaded from the file XML. External entities provide the primary means by which XML external entity attacks arise. Let's talk about how we can test for XXE. So to ensure the security of your applications, it is very much essential to test for XXE vulnerabilities. Penetration testing tools like Burp Suite and OWASP Zap can help identify potential vulnerabilities, whereas manual testing techniques involves crafting a malicious XML payload to see if the application is susceptible. Here are some of the best practices to follow. First, minimize XML for user inputs. So avoid using XML for data inputs whenever possible. Then comes strict input validation. Implement rigorous input validation and sanitization procedures. Next is using trusted XML parsers. So always choose well-tested and secure XML parsing libraries. And lastly, we have employing web application firewalls. So use WAFs to add an extra layer of protection against the XXE attacks. So in this slide, we will talk about XXE and compliance. XXE vulnerabilities can have legal and financial consequences. Non-compliance with standards such as GDPR or HIPAA due to data breaches can result in severe penalties. So ensuring the security of XML processing is crucial for maintaining compliance. In conclusion, understanding XML external entity XXE injection is vital for safeguarding applications against data breaches and unauthorized access. So by implementing best practices and staying informed about emerging threads, we can create a more secure software ecosystem.